What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you a two-person podcast setup. I'm actually setting up a new podcast for Norris and his brother, Nolan. It's gonna be a good one. I'll be sure to link it down below. You should check it out if it's live by now, which hopefully it will be because I'm producing it for them. That's another thing I have to edit. But I wanted to um, make sure that their first episode looked really good to be recorded on video. As a lot of you know, I've been kind of preaching the importance of video podcasting, not just audio podcasting. And I think it turned out really well. And since I just do a solo show, I thought it would be fun to show you what the two person video setup looked like. So you can either replicate it for yourself or reach out to me if you need help uh, creating something similar. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that in addition to recommending creators put their podcasts on YouTube, I'm also a big advocate for creators having something of their own to sell or to promote, like a course, like a membership, like a community that their audiences can find them on. And today's sponsor, Uscreen, knows a little something about that. Hosting a podcast is a lot of fun, but serious creators know that you've got to get creative when it comes to making money from one. One of my favorite ways to expand the potential of my show is by hosting a membership community to go alongside it. Uscreen allows you to launch a paid membership complete with your own mobile apps, as well as TV apps like Apple TV, Roku, and Fire TV, which has a Netflix-like look and feel. You can host private live streams for your members, use the built-in community feature to chat with your audience, and keep them updated on all of your new content by using the push notification features. And since all of this lives in your own branded mobile apps, your membership is in their pockets. All of these amazing features come together to help you build predictable recurring revenue that you can rely on to come into your business month after month. Uscreen is perfect for any creator looking to turn their videos into a true business, from daily vloggers to yoga instructors, educators, news channels, entertainment-based creators, and yes, even podcasters like you and I. So if you're interested in learning more about memberships and building recurring revenue, check out Uscreen. I'll leave a link down below. Okay, so this studio actually might look familiar to some of you who've been watching for a really long time. This used to be my studio. It's a pretty small space, but I'm really happy with the end result that we got from this actually. So keep that in mind. If you wanna create a podcast, you don't have a lot of space, you absolutely can do it. So first up over here, we've got chair one. So this is the host's desk. So he's got his nice background with all of his like soccer stuff, esports stuff, gaming stuff, whatever. For the microphone, we've got a Shure MV7, which is the same microphone that I use for my YouTube videos most of the time. It's a really good uh, mic if you're looking to become a podcaster. I highly recommend it. It's really easy to use. And then over here, we've got, um, this one's a little bit dusty, but it's a Rodecaster Pro 2. So this device is what the um, Shure MV7 plugs into, and it's, it's essentially a mixer. Um, it, it records both audio tracks, combines them into one, and allows you to edit the audio. It's a little complicated. I have a whole video all about that that goes into detail about what exactly that is, which I'll link up here, but that's what's in the host station really. And then he's got his computer and stuff where he has his notes. So how I went ahead and decided to frame him is I'll hop over here and we've got my Canon R10 camera with a Sigma 18 through 35 millimeter art lens. I absolutely love this combo for cameras. The R10 is really good if you do podcasts because there's no recording minute limit, I guess. A lot of other DSLR cameras, they they um, zonk out at 29 minutes, I think it is. It's a long story why. Uh, this one you can record for hours and hours on end if you need to. So if you're gonna be talking a lot, R10 is really great. To also contribute to that or to maximize that, power, I have this thing. It's called a dummy battery. It looks just like a regular battery, but it's attached to power. So this means that we can record forever. We can record until the lights go out, literally. Uh, this is something I definitely recommend you get if you're, again, doing podcasts in particular, but really any YouTube videos. I, I use the dummy battery when I record my YouTube videos, anything that I know I'm gonna be talking for longer than 20, 30 minutes. And then we've got, uh, this shot basically. I think it looked really nice and uh, we got a beautiful shot out of it. So that is camera one. Okay, so we actually, the camera that I'm recording this video, it's a little meta, is what we use to record this video or this setting. So we have this camera, which is the Sony ZV-1. 
camera. We have this on top of this little monopod thing. I'll link all the equipment down below for you. This is a, it's a really handy little device. It's like a monopod that you screw onto your desk. I used to use it all the time for a webcam and just for my vlogging camera, I sometimes use it. And we have this propped up on Norris's desk, just out of view, just out of frame from his shot. And we have this zoomed in a little bit on where Nolan was sitting. This camera also does not have a recording limit, I don't believe. And I also just bought a dummy battery for this as well so that we can use it, um, you know, as long as we need to. Same microphone, this is something that I think is really important if you're gonna do a multi-person show. If you can at all help it, having the same microphone. This one is actually my microphone from my office. It just sounds a little better, I think, if you have the same exact microphones and you're recording in the same recording environment. Obviously it's not always possible, but luckily we had two of these and we just have this on a boom pole, which I got from Amazon. It's pretty cheap, um, but we have a couple of these hanging around. So that's that. And then this is the setting that we chose for him. It is pretty basic, but I think it looked really nice. Like we've just got this bright white background, a nice little love seat couch thing. And then we have a little bit of, you know, whatever fake foliage in the background just to kind of break up all of the boring white i think it looked really nice actually he was wearing all black and i think it looked good you know against like the dark colors of his clothing just to have like the bright white background and then something we did to jazz it up a little bit this is a this is also very cheap i think i got this on amazon like years ago uh, and just left it down here <laughs> do you use this in your yeah. own time no i just left it down here. it's like a little led light and I think that you can do diff different colors too uh, with the app, but we just left it on whatever this is. It's kind of like an orangey, peachy, pinky. It looked nice, I thought, and it just added a little bit of dimension to the shot. This is something that you always want to think about when you're recording videos is just things that are going to break up the shot and not make them look so flat, I suppose. So, you know, it lit up the side of his face a little bit and gave it a, gave him a little glow. He loves to see it. And then we also, it's daytime right now that we're recording this kind of behind the scenes, but when we recorded the episode, it was evening. So the sun was going down, it, the lighting was a little different. So we just re used a little, let me get up and show you. This is not per Latasha's safety standards, but Norris just put one of these LED panels on a bookshelf. I would have put it on a stand uh, to not blow up the house, but this is just a little LED light panel by Newer. And you can adjust the dimmer so you can make it super bright, not so bright. And you can also adjust the temperature so you can make it more yellow or more, or more white. We left this on pretty white and kind of like in the middle, I would say, in terms of brightness, but you just gotta play around with it. So I think that's it, right? Um, I went ahead and pressed record on both of the cameras, record on the Rodecaster, and then we were left with the two files to edit. And that's kind of, like I said, a whole, whole video all about the kind of post-production, which I'll leave up here. Um, but that's how you set up a two-person podcast. What do you think? Do you think it looks good? I think it looks good for our first attempt. Go check out their new show. It's all about, actually, let me let me have Norris tell you what it's all about. Uh, our show is called Football Furioso. It's all about uh, soccer, mostly focusing on the Premier League. Obviously, the Women's World Cup is coming up. Uh, so really excited about that covering the Women's World Cup as well. Uh, and it's just me and my bro just chilling, talking about soccer. And it's our favorite sport. We play it a couple times a week. So uh, we just figured we spend an hour talking about soccer after we're done playing. So we might as well just record those conversations. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you need help setting up your own show. And I'll leave links to everything down below. Thanks again to Uscreen for sponsoring today's episode, video, whatever this is. Uscreen's a really amazing tool. I highly recommend checking them out. Make sure to let them know that I sent you if you did. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.